throwing grenades! That's a grenadier! Keep moving if I'm you want to keep your aims! I'm going to be showing you how to kill all types of enemies in the game. To start off with, we have the grenadier. There's a couple of strategies. You can hit him from the side. Watch out for the grenades, the indicator, they will check them. They have uh, grenade frags and incendiaries. We can get some more over here. Next up, we have the mini gunner. You want to go for headshots on it. It is susceptible to takedown once it is on the ground, but if you go for all headshots, and you can avoid the having to use the takedown. That is a good idea when you know you're about to have mini gunners to try to have your overkill available on your rifle. An overkill headshot really hurts. I don't think there's any zombies really here to show that off right now, but definitely go for overkill headshots. Try to keep um, zombies or cover in between the two of you. If you can shoot without the scope, you can shoot like this with your rifle. It makes it very easy. You just run around the map when you just get them down to the beginning. Gunners also carry two frag grenades when you stomp them out. Ooh, there's another one. Now when you can slow down time and put in a few shots, great to do that too. So next up we have the Screamer. Now as you can see right here on the back, kind of in this view, see that little glowing green, yellow colored line, whatever that is. That is their weak point. So inflicting damage there is optimal. Second choice is their head. They can take a lot of damage and they do a lot of damage on their melee. So what you want to try to do is get the opening shot on their weak spot. Put a couple shots in on that. You can follow it up. Or potentially even take them out before they even scream. So I keep backing up. No load with the secondary. Need to run a little bit, that's cool. Keep distance between you and it. So that's how much damage it can do if it hits you. Oh, well, they are susceptible to takedowns too from the back. And this one. I can get this dude. Nope. He almost dead. There he is. You can get the takedown on him from the back. Second strategy is to go for all headshots. Gotta pop his head. There's no one doing this too bad, but his head on that one.
Now while this is solo, this is on four players, so it should be have four player help. If you're doing this on one player, it'd be a lot easier to bring down. Or if you have four people shooting them. Be silent. Next up we have the Grenadier. Now there's a couple of strategies for fighting this dude. One is you wait for them to pop their head. Now it's a very short window you, that you have to shoot them. Always keep a lookout for their grenades. They have abilities that you can use to temporarily try to get them to pop out. There is the strapping strategy. You can see them from behind. You spin on them from the front of the shield, and then you equip them from the side. It's a lot better with shotguns and automatic weapons, but you can do it with a sniper. There is a hatch inside the greenhouse that's you can also, the while they're moving, and even while they're still a little bit, uh, equip their feet. Which will generally open them up to them moving or popping their heads, and uh, let you finish them off even easier. Uh, yeah, they're also susceptible to takedowns, regardless, you can go up to the front of the shield side, whatever point, uh, and you can just take them down. Worked, but the door isn't opening. Next up, we have Creepers. Now, Creepers are very susceptible to trap. Ideally, you want to funnel them into an area, get them all up. Usually your secondary weapon is ideal for them, or a heavy weapon like the flamer or something. You could ammo fast reload, fast fire rate. Just keep backing up as you're fighting them. If you can grip this wall up, then uh, you can kill them all with a frag or a thing Electrics don't kill them, they just stun them. The little the health that they have. The electric grenades so I just like that do not seem to kill them. Or even if you do burn it, oh, I'm gonna it. Also, while they're grouped up, you use the divine. Great way to get a bunch of enemy health back. When those get right up on you, you can take it down. You can a bunch of them using a little hot salt to take them down. Try to take down the one that you can safely take down without taking another hit. Up, we have the shadow demon or whatever this is. Now as you see there when it tried to get me I just shot it and you can cancel that out by clicking damage into that. Now to one shot it. I'm a giant sighted. So you want to one shot it just uh, shoot it apart. Now 
Now if I can get a takedown, I'll show you another strategy, well, another trick to use against them. Use more of a last resort kind of... So basically what it is, is if they do grab you, if you do have your takedown available, just spam takedown. They are susceptible to takedowns at that point. I don't think there's enough of a new kill to get a takedown right here. Let's try to keep a lookout for their thing. The limo across the ground. You can potentially outrun it too, but it has good range. teleport somewhere else, so just be ready for, to take that shot. Now uh, if you don't get the heart shot, but you do hit him, uh, you can go run up and execute him by stomping him out. The only other way to kill him. I'll show you the outrun strategy. Okay. Eventually it will end. Up in the corner. The shooting it is a much better strategy than trying to make it stop or end. Okay, so when you want to, you do miss the shot. You gotta stop him out. Just try to stop him out if wait that is safe. Necromancer is gonna revive and put an enemies on the board. What you want to do. You go for the heart shot. So that was an overkill. Close enough to get the there's a heart shot. But like all of them, you can wound them and try to go in and stomp them out. And the time is limited to the amount of time you can stomp them out. Just know what's on the board. Know what they're spawning in. You know what to try to avoid. 